Hello. Hey guys, uh, we want to introduce you to someone today and we're pretty excited about it. Very excited. So uh, stay tuned and we'll show you. Hey there, I'm Kelsey, that's Tim, and this is the story of our adventure. Life is fleeting and we want to squeeze every bit out of it. We are wandering the world, so home is a bit of a moving target for us. We love finding the random, the remote, and sharing it all with you. So subscribe to get lost with us and hopefully find some inspiration to go after your own dreams. We'd like to introduce you to our new truck. This is a 2008 Toyota Land Cruiser, 200 series Land Cruiser. We're not sure on his name yet. We're thinking no. Golden Goose, Pony Boy. We have some other ideas, but maybe yeah. you let us know what you think in the comments below. Some ideas, maybe? It's uh, Old Man Beige, actually called by Toyota Sonoran Gold, which is appropriate because they'll be going to Sonora yeah. uh, next weekend, actually. So what's interesting about this truck, uh, first off, let me just mention, this is exactly how we bought them, except I've removed the roof rack. And we took the rear seats out, the yep. third row seats. Third row seats. We've done a ton of cleaning, an oil change, air filter, in-cabin filter, and we got a lot more to do. Yeah. Sort of baseline the truck. Uh, but this might look like a new truck to you. But what's interesting is it's 14 years old, yep. or 15 if you count 2023. Yeah. When we bought Goose, or when I bought Goose initially, I hadn't met Kelsey yet, it was 15 years old. Whoa. I just realized that. I, that wasn't part of the plan, no, but like- Literally, we were talking on the like, way here. And no like, way. Oh. This is as old as Goose was when I bought him? Yeah. We'll, so We'll put some old pictures of Goose and how he, yeah. Tim originally yeah. built him and how we camped out of him for years. Yeah. And so one of our plans with this truck is obviously baseline it, make sure we trust it first, make sure there's no surprises or heavy bills we have to sort of foot. Yeah. And then it's to build a light 200 series, which I know is kind of just a joke on its own, but because <laughs> a 200 is a heavy beast yes. and a bit of a pig, it's got a giant engine that's really fuel hungry. Mm -hmm. But we've been getting better mileage than we've ever gotten in an 80, minus the diesel 80. Dusty doesn't count. Yeah. The diesel is amazing. Yeah. Uh, but a gasoline 80. We've been getting 18, and that's via a GPS and gallons added method on the highway, 17.9 actually. Haven't broken 18 on an average. Yeah. And then around town, 16 and a half miles per gallon. Now, I am trying right now, and as soon as you get used to a truck, usually you just accelerate as you accelerate, you drive like you drive, and it goes way down. But yeah. if I'm careful, so far we're getting above 16 around town. Now, as soon as there's a lift, tires, and some gear, that's all out the window. So we know this is a honeymoon period, but I've been impressed. Yeah that it's not as much of a gas hog as I thought it would be. Yeah. And then yesterday we so took far. it off road for the first time probably ever in yeah, its life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am super impressed, even in stock form. It totally. is amazing. Totally. Um, I think it had probably never been in low range. I don't think it ever had the diff lock, uh, center diff lock, of course, uh, done. It does really well just in normal all wheel drive setup. Yeah. The A-Track jumps in and tries to stop slippage. But then of course we wanted to try all the toys out. So we've been playing with crawl control <laughs> and all that. We get to play with that a lot in training people at all the yeah. expos and other events, but it's really fun to have your own truck and go, okay, is it all working properly? How is it working? And it's been doing really great. So um, yeah, we're in love with this truck. And the yeah. color for me was one of those colors I loved the most, but also kind of didn't like, if yeah. that makes any sense, because it's not cool to me. As soon as we saw it, it kind of grew on us, I will admit, but yeah. I never, I don't think I would have like sucked it, succeeded it. <laughs> Seeked it out. <laughs> Sought it out. <laughs> Sought it out. Uh, but, you know, I think one of those things is uh, in Tacomas back in the day, yeah. or even in earlier Land Cruisers, I've seen what the gold or tan or whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it looks like once it's sort of an off-road setup out in nature. So I knew I liked it. But you're right. On viewing it, you just go, really? The gray looks really good. Yeah. The white looks really good. But uh, as soon as we got this into the dirt, uh, I'm so glad. Yeah. I mean, we're already really glad knowing yeah. what it's going to look like when it's all built. Yes. But as soon as it gets out in the dirt, I love trucks that disappear. I'm not the type to have a red or bright yellow truck. Uh, I mean, nothing wrong with it. I just love when I get out in nature and the truck sort of disappears like it's not a part of the equation yeah. anymore. So love this color. And that helped us get a better deal, I think, too. It's probably the least love color. Yeah. And then green, the Amazon green is the most loved color. So you pay 10 grand extra or something crazy yes. just for that color. And then this, you probably pay a couple grand less. Yeah. 
And then it was also uh, a little bit thrashed on the inside yeah, from yeah, we'll show you guys. kids and everything. So we've done a ton to clean it up. Yep. It still needs a lot more work, yep. but uh, it was kind of perfect for what we wanted because obviously we don't have kids yeah. and we're just going to take the seats out yep. and uh, sleep in the back. So yeah. it kind of works for uh, the shape of a vehicle. We wanted it mechanically yeah. to be good, but aesthetically it's not perfect, but that's perfect for us. Exactly. So for me, the things that were important were one owner. I mean, if you can find it, I, I, I'm not married to one owner because trucks change hands and that's fine. You don't want like 10 owners. Something might be up, yeah. but three or four would have been fine at this age at 14 years, 15 years old. You're going to expect a few owners, but one owner is a bonus. Yes. All the records. So there weren't any gaps in its history on the Carfax. And then he has the receipts, you know, of going to the Toyota dealer. So it was maintained. Um, when I say maintained, I mean like normal person maintained, <laughs> meaning if anything was wrong, they fixed it. The maintained we like to do for no being in the middle of nowhere alone is tons of preventative, everything preventative that you can think of before it breaks. Yeah. Uh, so it was maintained at like your normal person level, which is about as good as you can get, unless you buy from like an enthusiast. It um, had no rust. It had been in Los Angeles its entire life. So a little bit of that surface rust that we talk about sometimes where you can just see maybe there's like a little scrape on the skid plate and there's surface rust, but that's about as much as you get. It yes. never turns into real uh, structural rust yeah. or anything like that. And then, yeah, like Kelsey said, the interior, cats and dogs and kids yeah. uh, ripping it to Spilling pieces. Drinks everywhere. But we're going to make it filthy anyways. Yeah. So we've rented a steam cleaner once. We're mm -hmm. going to do it a second time because yep. in certain areas it's cleaner and certain areas we've just brought the dirt to the surface. So it's so dirtier it somehow. Again, yeah. So it's time to do it again, but we love it. The power is ridiculous. Yeah. You can chirp all four tires, which is just so ludicrous fast. for us and the vehicles we've owned and you've seen us own. None of them are super fast. Uh, even the Porsche, this is significantly faster than our old Porsche. So yeah. um, it's, it's, a, like it's fun. It's like the opposite of what Tonto is. So yeah. Tonto's the fun, go camping, camp yeah. in a tent, put along. This, you can hop in, it feels luxury and comfortable yeah. and you can zip. Yeah. All, you know, on the highway at 80. Yeah. If you well, and to. then the other the other plus is Tonto, we were nervous about beating too hard. Not that he can't take it, but we can't have a car down right now. We have no backup wheels <laughs> for work, for running errands, for just basic life. We had to have Tonto in good condition. And that deterred us, I feel like, from wheeling him quite as much as mm -hmm. I'd like to. And now with two vehicles, both of them, you know, we can one, we can start a project that doesn't have to be completed by the yeah. evening because you can take the other truck home or wherever. And if you're wheeling one or the other, you know there's a backup set of wheels. Yep. Something so breaks, you're it's just reassuring. Yeah. yeah. As far as the build for this, it's going to be a lot like Goose 1.0. Here's some old photos of Goose. Uh, Goose was a rare truck that had zero holes in the roof. No factory roof rack was ever installed on it. And so until we ripped the entire <laughs> until we roof got off, a giant hole in it. <laughs> it was a clean roof. And I really liked that. Now, the, the Camp Tech is awesome because we're living in the truck. It turned it into more of a little home. Yeah. But for wheeling, I really love having a clean roof. If you've wheeled a truck with nothing on the roof and then a roof rack, a rooftop tent, some max tracks, you know, roto packs, solar panels, those two trucks back to back wheel so differently, so differently that it's hard to get over the loss in wheelability mm -hmm. when you add all that to the roof. Nothing wrong with putting stuff on the roof because a lot of times you have to, but if you can avoid it, man, it's really fun. You could still slide around corners in a built truck that has nothing on the roof. As soon as you put all that up there, you're kind of dancing with fire tipping and maybe over, yeah. tipping over. So we're going to try and keep the roof clean, but you'll see, you know, you yeah. know you'll, you'll we'll get to watch as we go, if we end up needing the room and have to put stuff up there. But for now, clean roof. And then we're going to do a fairly small lift, right around two inches. We'll see how it settles and, and yeah. how it all looks. Uh, probably 34 inch tires, any bigger. And I would have to do serious mods. And we want to keep this truck sort of like Goose used to mm -hmm. be, which was, you know, I kept the sway bars on him and just kept it so he could do daily driving, highway road trips, but then wheel really well. And I didn't want Goose to get too long travel where he was all about wheeling. Yeah. I still like the Baja stuff. I like to go fast. I like to be able to slide around a corner if I want to. And so this truck's going to be sort of in that vein. I want to keep it low enough, light enough that it's still fun to drive. Yeah. I don't want to turn it into a rolling home. No. We've had that and we no. love that, but for, for having that. But We'll do a sleeping platform on the inside. My favorite thing is to sleep inside the truck. I yes. love it. So any kind of weather, that, any yeah. kind of a place, you're very stealthy. It's just a parked truck, right? Yep. So we're going to try and keep it sort of stealthy looking. But that's a general plan. Things will change, and you'll see as they change. But for right now, uh, we're going to go wheeling in it, and uh, we'll show you guys a little bit of what a stock behemoth that is a 200 series can do. And uh, yeah, we'll update you as we continue to make some modifications. Yep. But for this next couple of weeks, it's maintenance and cleaning 
continued. And we've already been at it full time for five days now, something like yeah. that. Yeah, we'll go camping in there one time because, you know, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. In the back. We need to do an inaugural camping yeah. trip. Yeah. So. so we'll take you along and uh, thanks for watching. I think that's all we have to show you. We'll, I think that's we'll it. Leave you with some we'll catch cool up with you pictures. soon. And then, yeah, we'll leave you some sweet, beautiful bean footage okay. if you know that commercial. <laughs>